Good afternoon, my name is Mark Keane and I'm the designer of the gardens at the Genji Hotel. Uh, today we'll be looking at the Ukifune Garden, which is based on this painting that's in the collection of the Metropolitan Museum in New York City. The, the painting is from one of the last chapters in the tale of Genji on the theme of Ukifune. So Ukifune is this character, a young woman who is caught between two men, pulling her in two different directions. And as she's being brought by one of them across the Uji River, she recites a poem in which she likens her life to an ukifune, a drifting boat, because she's completely out of control and just feels like she's being pulled on the current. So this painting was turned into a garden in the courtyard that faces the lobby of the hotel. You can see in the garden, we've used small stones to recreate the feeling of a running river. There's no water in the garden, it's a dry stream but it feels like it's moving because of the way the stones are laid out. And in the river is another stone, a large stone, that's shaped like a boat. And in this way, we simplify the painting of the ukifune, the drifting boat, into a garden that's made of stone and moss. So the garden depicts the story from the Genji Monogatari of ukifune and her story but it also has another hidden meaning behind it. This main stone, which is carrying as its load, not a woman and her lover, but a pile of moss, is representative of our planet Earth, which carries nature on its way as it drifts through the galaxy. Almost every room at the Genji Hotel has one or more small garden associated with it. In Japanese, these are called tsubo gardens, which refers to tiny little pocket gardens that are connected to the rooms. This one contains as its main element a very large egg-shaped stone that originally was set 90 degrees down and used as a water basin. But in these gardens, I'm using them not in their original purpose, but as sculptures. So the garden, in this garden, the stone is turned upwards and becomes a sculptural element in the garden. Another really nice thing about these three gardens on the first floor that face the river is that they have at their back a long wall of frosted glass and the bamboo on the outside of that glass casts its shadows on the wall every morning for the guests to enjoy a kind of a dancing motion of leaves across the glass. Another interesting thing about these gardens is the long piece of stone that I used on the ground. These are called miso, a kind of a gutter that was used in an old factory, hand-carved granite that's over two meters, maybe three meters long. Things that are used once for a very functional purpose and are being used in these gardens in a sculptural way. Here on the rooftop, we have the Sky Forest Garden. It is designed not like a regular rooftop garden, which is an open deck, but it's designed as a forest here on the rooftop. In Japanese, this is called perhaps a shichu in, the hermit or hermitage in the middle of the city. It feels like we've traveled way up into the mountains and are sitting in the forest, even though we're right here in downtown Kyoto. Mm -hmm.